So coming through similar form lines is maybe the horse to take a look at, but it's who's tough enough to stay out the 2,500. And the tactics will be really interesting there. You can't over race. Here mm. is horse number six going forward. Blake Shin from a wide barrier for John Sargent. You know he will be fit enough. Huge crowd at Morfordville. It's Derby Day and wherever around the world, as Bruce said at the start, as soon as you say the word Derby, you know that it's important. Here is the Derby. Colours to be worn here by Bold Soul. If you're looking for Bold Soul, who won the Chairman's in the Patrick Payne colours. He's got club colours on today. The Racing SA dark blue, light blue sleeves. He's coming into the gates now. Warmonger to move up. Warrior to Warrior. Coco Sun and out of stock. So the Chris Waller trained. Ah Hariri, winner of the St. Ledger at Flemington. 480, 5.50 Coco Sun. $6 for Warmonger. 7.50 Antrim Coast. $9 Bold soul. Just two to load. Warrior out a warrior. And out of stock. And the field will be set for the running of the South Australian Derby. The 151st running of the South Australian Derby. The two fillies are favourite. Ahariri and Coco Sun. Plenty with a chance. Gates open, they're racing in the derby. They all stepped cleanly. Out of stock is going to be snagged back. Uh, nearer the inside, sunsets. Coco Sun, just brilliant. Antrim Coast and Air Assault's the widest. Tulsa King travelling forward, so is glad you think so. Air Assault very deep on the track. He's moving forward with Coco Sun. Just brilliant, Antrim Coast, but Air Assault crosses and leads. Air Assault has the lead. Tulsa King wider out looking for the spot outside of him. Coco Sun racing handy and third alongside of Glad You Think So. Then Just Brilliant from Antrim Coast. A length away to a samurai mine who is able to sneak in with cover. Bold Souls caught deep. Sunsets on the rail. Uh, then came Steel Blaze who's wide. Worry out of Warriors even deeper. Gold Wolf next from Warmonger who went back to third last with Shinjuku Ahariri. And two back last of all to the Kiwi out of stock. The leader, Air Assault, out in front, striding fluently by a length of the half to Tulsa King. And two back is Coco Sun third. Fourth position is Glad You Think So at the 1400 metres. Then Antrim Coast from Just Brilliant. Bold Souls a fraction deep from a Samurai Mine. Sun sets the rail, then Warrior out a Warrior. Steel Blaze also covering a little bit of ground as they head to the bend at the 1250. They're halfway home. Then came towards the back of the field, Shinjuku, in company with Gold Wolf, who's about third last. Ahariri Warmonger, out of stock last of all. Leader down the side, Air Assault approaching the 1,000. By a length on Tulsa King, creeping closer. Here are some moves from the back. Steel Blaze gets moving, flushes a few out in the process. Bold Soul, Air Assault at the 800, about to be attacked. Tulsa King and Steel Blaze deeper out. Coco Sun sweating on a run behind the speed with Glad You Think So. Bold Soul. Ahariri was moving forward. She then ran into traffic. Antrim's Coast was next. Followed then by Warmonger, who's well back, but he's going to have to come deep. So too out of stock as they race up to the bend. Air Assault kept finding 500 metres to run in the derby. A narrow margin on Tulsa King. Coco Sun sneaking through on the rail to join them. Air Assault in front from Coco Sun. Tulsa King. Then came Antrim Coast, Warmonger descending down the middle. Air Assault joined by Coco Sun. Coco Sun rallied through underneath Air Assault to take a slender lead. A half, three quarters, Coco Sun on Air Assault. Warmonger's flashing down the outside. Coco Sun in front from Warmonger. Jamie Carr gets her Group 1 in South Australia. Coco Sun wins the derby for the McAvoys. Over Warmonger and Air Assault, a brave third. Fourth, maybe Antrim Coast from Ahariri and Tulsa King. Next one in at the head of the others was Just Brilliant, followed by Steel Blaze and then Gold Wolf, Warrior out a Warrior. Next one in, a tiring sunsets, a samurai mine. Shinjuku's back towards the tail end. That is a peach of a ride. Jamie Carr, Coco Sun, Team McAvoy. Now, don't be fooled. While she got the gun rails run and didn't go around a horse, she didn't draw an inside gate. She was in gate eight. 
how did she do it? I want to see the replay again. How did she get into that spot? And uh, we were chatting about it in the run. You just wanted to be on her so far out. Air Assault was setting the tempo.